mini pig grows to 250 pounds after quadrupling in size in six months. An animal lover was left stunned when her mini pig grew to 250 pounds, leading neighbors to call her crazy pig lady when she took it for walks. Marcella Iglesias, from Los Angeles, picked the fattest pig of the litter at a farm sale, believing he would grow to be 50 pounds, 3 street 7 pounds, at most. But her hopes for a small companion were dashed when at six months he had more than quadrupled in size and showed no signs of slowing down. It wasn't until aged three that the pot-bellied pig named Jay finally stopped growing. Marcella says she could never give Jay up as he's part of the family and has even become her therapy pet to help her deal with anxiety. She treats him like a dog and he can respond to his name, go for walks perform tricks including sit and paw and warning her when strangers enter the house. Marcella said, When I saw the litter I started laughing, I saw them all running around like little podgy balls, I needed to get one. I knew this was my chance, so I picked the fattest and biggest of the litter, at the time he was smaller than a pug. I thought I was getting a mini pig at around 50 pounds tops, after seeing his mom and dad I thought that he would be small too. But by six months he had quadrupled in size, he kept growing, I don't know if it was because I overfed him at first. I was in denial that he would get that big, everyone thought at six months that he would stop growing, but he only stopped at three years old. Despite this fact that he kept getting bigger, I never thought of abandoning him or taking him to a shelter. He's very special to me, I have unconditional love for him and he helps me with my anxiety. I was also able to teach him to sit down, give me his paw, he knows his name and also I have opened the minds of a lot of people who can't believe how very clean they are. I treat him like a young child, I clean him, sing him songs and give him massages, no one takes care of him like me. Marcella, who spent the first two decades of her life in Argentina, became obsessed with pigs at a young age but finally took the plunge and adopted one in 2013. She said, there were no such things as a mini or pot-bellied pigs growing up, there were just commercial 1,000 pounds ones. So in adulthood when I started looking, I thought 50 to 60 pounds was not big to me and that I could do that. But to her dismay, by six months old the pot-bellied pig was already close to 6 stone, 80 pounds. Jay continued to become podgier and podgier, but it didn't deter Marcella from wanting to keep him. She said, I realized how easy it was owning a pig, he took care of himself, there was no fights or any problems at all, except he kept growing and growing. I had to keep buying more and more leashes because they didn't fit his huge neck. I realized I couldn't get rid of him, I loved him even though he was bigger than I expected. Marcella would regularly take Shay for walks in the neighborhood and allowed neighbors' children to watch and pet him. But in 2014, Animal control were called to confiscate her pet, due to regulations around the types of pets you can keep in the area. Marcella said, I even fought a city order to keep him as my pet, after a neighbor called animal control. I asked them to let me keep my pot-bellied pig, he was already one of the family and didn't cause damage or detriment to the city. In my eyes he was basically like a dog and definitely not a commercial pig. At that time. I was going to therapy for anxiety, I feared them taking him away from me, when they asked if I considered having him as a service pig. We got a permit for him to become my emotional support animal and now he has his paperwork, a vest and all the credentials. Knowing he was an emotional support animal they could not take him away from me because they are protected under federal laws and housing situations. Since then. Marcella moved to a new area where city zoning codes allow these types of animals and she adopted two more pigs. This led her led her to get the nickname of the pig lady locally. She adopted a second pig from site Craigslist who she named Bella, 3, and after her vet told her about one client that couldn't take care of her animal she adopted two-year-old Stella. Marcella collaborated with the Little Angels Project, a non-profit that help animals in need from providing surgical procedures and medical treatment to finding new homes for animals in need. She believes there are a lot of misconceptions surrounding pigs' cleanliness and their intelligence. But while Marcella loves her pig family, she is concerned about the future.
She has also adopted two dogs and a bunny from a local shelter. She says her next animal is a mini cow or a capybara, but she'll need to convince her family first who already believe they have too many pets. She added, I do wonder what would happen to them, if something happened to me and I could not take care of them anymore. It's certainly a commitment as pot-bellied pigs live for 15-20 years. It's like a dog, that's a long time. But my pigs are part of the family, I could never get rid of them.